Once upon a time, the captain and the mates of a ship grew so vain of their seamanship, so full of hubris, and so impressed with themselves that they went mad. They turned the ship north and sailed until they met with icebergs and dangerous flows, and they kept sailing north into more and more perilous waters, solely in order to give themselves opportunities to perform ever more brilliant feats of seamanship. Shiver me timbers! Is this ain't the worst voyage I've ever been on? The deck is slick with ice. When I'm on lookout, the wind cuts through me jacket like a knife. Every time I reef the foresail, I blame near freeze me fingers. And all I get for is a miserable four shillings a month. You think you have it bad? I can't sleep at night for it's so cold. Ladies on this ship don't get as many blankets as the men. It isn't fair. Gingado! I'm only getting half the wages of the Anglo seamen. We need plenty of food to keep us warm in this climate, and I'm not getting my share. The Anglos get more, and the worst of it is that the mates always give me my orders in English instead of Spanish. I have more reason to complain than anybody. If the pale faces hadn't robbed me of my ancestral lands, I wouldn't even be here on this ship, here among the icebergs and arctic winds. I would just be paddling a canoe on a nice, placid lake. I deserve compensation. At the very least, the captain should let me run a crap game so that I can make some money. Yesterday, the first mate called me a fruit just because I love to suck cocks. I have a right to suck cocks without being called names for it. It's not only humans who are mistreated on this ship. Why, last week I saw the second mate kick the ship's monkey twice. One of the passengers on the ship was a college professor. All this is just awful. It's immoral. It's racism, sexism, speciesism, homophobia, and exploitation of the working class. It's discrimination. We must have social justice. Equal wages for the Mexican sailor, higher wages for all sailors, compensation for the Indian, equal blankets for the ladies, and a guaranteed right to suck cock, and no more kicking the monkey! Yes! 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 We have to demand our rights. Um, uh, you all have good reasons to complain, but it seems to me that what we really have to do is get this ship turned around and headed back south, because if we keep going north, we're sure to be wrecked sooner or later, and then your wages, your blankets, and your right to suck cocks won't do you any good, because we'll all drown. But no one paid any attention to him, because he was only the cabin boy. The captain and the mates, from their station on the poop deck, had been watching and listening. Now they smiled and winked at one another, and at a gesture from the captain, the third mate came down from the poop deck, sauntered over to where the passengers and crew were gathered, and shouldered his way in amongst them. He put a very serious expression on his face and spoke thusly. We officers have to admit that some really inexcusable things have been happening on this ship. We hadn't realized how bad the situation was until we heard some of your complaints. We are men of goodwill and want to do right by you. But, while well, the captain is rather conservative and set in his ways, and may have to be prodded a bit before he'll make any substantial changes. My personal opinion is that if you protest vigorously, but always peacefully and without violating any of the ship's rules, then you will shake the captain out of his inertia and force him to address the problems of which you so justly complain. <laughs> But they nevertheless did as he said. They gathered in a body before the poop deck, shouted insults at the officers, and demanded their rights. I want me higher wages and better working conditions. Equal blankets for women. I want to receive my orders in Spanish. I want the right to run a crap game. I don't want to be called a fruit. No more kicking the monkey. Revolution now. 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 Rev
forward! The captain and the mates huddled together and conferred for several minutes, winking, nodding, and smiling at one another all the while. Then the captain stepped to the front of the poop deck and with a great show of benevolence announced, Good news for everyone. The able seaman's wages will be raised to six shillings a month. The Mexican sailor's wages will be raised to two-thirds the wages of an Anglo seaman. And the order to reef the force will be given in Espanol. Lady passengers will receive one more blanket. The Indian sailor will be allowed to run a crap game on Saturday nights. The bosun won't be called a fruit as long as he keeps his cock sucking strictly private. And the monkey won't be kicked unless he does something really naughty, such as stealing food from the galley. That's all. Yes! 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 The passengers and crew celebrated these concessions as a great victory. But by the next morning, they were again feeling dissatisfied. Uh, yeah, I, I, I just don't believe it. I really do not believe well, well, I'm going to go. Go me down! Six shillings a month is a pittance, and I still freeze my fingers when I reef the foresail. I'm still not getting the same wages as the Anglos, or enough food for this climate. We women still don't have enough blankets to keep us warm. What injustice! What a disgrace! Why should I have to suck cocks in secrecy? That's right! Why should heterosexuality be privileged? What about the monkey? Won't someone think of the monkey? Yes! What about the monkey? It's really terrible that the monkey gets kicked for stealing a bit of bread from the galley, and that the women don't have equal blankets, and that the able seaman gets his fingers frozen. I don't see why the bosun shouldn't suck cocks if he wants to. But look how thick the icebergs are now, and how the wind blows harder and harder. We've got to turn this ship back towards the south, because if we keep going north, we'll all be wrecked and drowned. Oh, yes. It is just so awful that we keep heading north. But why should I have to keep cocksucking in the closet? Why should I be called a fruit? Ain't I as good as everyone else? Sailing north is terrible, but don't you see? That's exactly why women need more blankets to keep them warm. I demand equal blankets for women now! Mm, it's quite true that sailing to the north imposes great hardships on all of us, but Changing course towards the south would be unrealistic. You can't turn back the clock. We must find a mature way of dealing with this situation. Look, if we let those madmen up on the poop deck have their way, we'll all be drowned. If we ever get this ship out of danger, then we can worry about working conditions, blankets for women, and the right to suck cocks. But first, we've got to get this vessel turned around. If a few of us get together, make a plan, and show some courage, we can save ourselves. It wouldn't take many of us. Uh, six or eight would do. We could charge the poop deck, chuck those lunatics overboard, and turn the ship to the south. I don't believe in violence. It's immoral. I'm terrified of violence. It's unethical ever to use violence. The captain and the mates had been watching and listening all the while. At a signal from the captain, the third mate stepped down to the main deck. He went about among the passengers and crew, telling them that there were still many problems on the ship. We have made much progress, but much remains to be done. Working conditions for the able seamen are still hard, and the Mexican still isn't getting the same wages as the Anglos. The women still don't have quite as many blankets as the men. The Indian Saturday night crap game is paltry compensation for his lost lands. It's unfair that the bosun has to keep his cock sucking in the closet, and the monkey still gets kicked at times. I think the captain needs to be prodded again. It would help if you all put in another protest as long as it remains non-violent. Oh, swing! Don't turn your back on me, mate! It isn't fair. Why should I have to suck cocks in the closet? Injustice! Suck my cock! Pinch it, gringo. We want equality! Revolution now! To the captain! More 
good news for everyone. The able seaman will be given gloves to keep his fingers warm. The Mexican sailor will receive wages equal to three-fourths the wages of an Anglo seaman. The women will receive yet another blanket. The Indian sailor can run a crap game on Saturday and Sunday night. The bosom will be allowed to suck cocks publicly after dark. And no one can kick the monkey without special permission from me. That is all. Yes! 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 The passengers and crew were ecstatic over this great revolutionary victory. But by the next morning, they were again feeling dissatisfied and began grumbling about the same old hardships. I don't know about this. I You know what he did last year? Yeah, I just don't believe it. Damn fools! Don't you see what the captain and the mates are doing? They're keeping you occupied with your trivial grievances about blankets, wages, and the monkey being kicked so that you won't think about what is really wrong with the ship, that it's getting farther and farther to the north, and we're all going to be drowned. If just a few of you would come to your senses, get together, and charge the poop deck, we could turn this ship around and save ourselves. But all you do is whine about your petty little issues like working conditions and crap games and the right to suck cocks. Petty? You think it's reasonable that I get only three-fourths the wages of an Anglo sailor? Is that petty? How can you call my grievance trivial? Don't you know how humiliating it is to be called a fruit? Kicking the monkey is not a petty little issue. It's heartless, cruel, and brutal. All right then, these issues are not petty and trivial. Kicking the monkey is cruel and brutal, and it's humiliating to be called a fruit. But in comparison to our real problem, in comparison to the fact that the ship is still heading north, your grievances are petty and trivial, because if we don't get this ship turned around soon, we're all going to drown! Fascist! Counter-revolutionary! Fascist! 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 The passengers and crew went back to grumbling about wages and about blankets for women and about the right to suck cocks and about how the monkey was treated. The ship kept sailing north, and after a while it was crushed between two icebergs and everyone drowned.
quiet. We're recording.